Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet a ripple cable stitch. I realize it's kind of hard to see here on the video. You can head over to richtexturescrochet.com and you'll see another photo of it there, which is a little bit easier to see. But uh, it features a solid background fabric with a rippled or chevron cable stitch that runs through the length of the pattern. So for this tutorial today, um, all the texture I should say is on the one side in these cable stitches that run across. Uh, and again, it's a solid fabric that it creates. So for today, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook or an H8 crochet hook along with some 100% cotton yarn. This is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand. Uh, links for these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description you'll find the direct link to the free written pattern and the photos of this stitch on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. Don't forget to subscribe, take a look around. This channel is updated every Sunday morning with a new free crochet stitch tutorial and throughout the week with free crochet patterns. We will be working our stitch today in rows, so we're going to start by making a slip knot. And then by working a foundation chain, your foundation chain today will need to be a multiple of 8 stitches plus 5. So today I'm going to start by chaining 29. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook. Your chain three counts as a stitch and then double crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row one, you're going to chain three and turn your work. Your chain three again counts as a double crochet stitch and that's all the way through this project. For row two, you're going to then work a double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So you're skipping the one at the base of your chain because your chain counts as a stitch. We're then ready to begin our cable pattern. We're, for this row we're going to work in front of our work. You're going to skip this next stitch and work a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch two rows below. So down in our row below. So yarn over, I guess it's just one row below. <laughs> yarn over, skipping that next stitch and around the post of the next Work a front post double crochet. Bring your hook in front of your work. Insert your hook from the front through to the back. Out through the front again. Yarn over. Draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two more. You're then going to double crochet into the next stitch, which is the same stitch that you've worked that front post stitch around. You're then going to skip the next stitch, once again working in front of your work, work another front post double crochet around the same stitch as the previous front post stitch. So yarn over, bring your hook in front, insert your hook around the same stitch as that previous front post stitch from front through to back, out through the front again, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more loops. Now you've skipped the one in behind, the next stitch in behind, so now we're simply going to work one double crochet into each of the next five stitches.
we are now going to repeat. Skip the next stitch, working in front of your work and around the post of the next stitch in the row below, work a front post double crochet stitch. Double crochet in this next stitch, which is the same stitch as your post stitch. Skip the next stitch and once again work a front post double crochet around the same post as the previous front post stitch. You're then going to work one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. Repeat this all the way across until you have four stitches remaining. When you come across at the end of row two, you'll have four stitches remaining, including that chain three. You're going to work a double crochet into each of the final four stitches. Including that starting chain three. For row three, chain three counts as a double crochet stitch and turn your work. Your texture should be all to the one side now. For row three, we're going to double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Next, working in back of your work, we're going to work a back post, you're going to skip the next stitch, and work a back post double crochet around the post of the next post stitch in the row below. So yarn over, bring your hook in back of your work and insert your hook from the back through to the front, out through the back again around the post of the next post stitch in the row below. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more. You're then going to work a double crochet into each of the next five stitches, uh, sorry, in each of the next three stitches, starting with that front post stitch. So there's one, two, three. I should say starting with the front post stitch two rows below, or one row below. You're then going to work, skip the next stitch, work another back post double crochet around the post of the next front post stitch of the row below. So yarn over, bring your hook in back of your work, insert your hook from the front through to the back, out through the front again of that next front post stitch that was in the row below, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two more. You've skipped the next stitch. You're then going to work a double crochet into each of the next five stitches. Sorry, each of the next three stitches. Keep losing my place in my rows. <laughs> We're now going to repeat. Skip the next stitch. Work a back post double crochet around the post of the next post stitch. Work three double crochet stitches, starting with working in the top of that front post stitch. We're skipping the next stitch and working in behind our work, working a back post double crochet around the post of the next front post stitch of the row below. And working one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across. until you have three stitches remaining. At 
at the end of row three, you come across, you have three stitches remaining. You're going to double crochet into each of those final three stitches, which includes your turning chain. So you're just working a double crochet into the third chain of that starting chain three. Chain three and turn your work. Your texture is now all on the front side. For row three, for row four, we're going to double crochet into the next stitch. Next, skip the next stitch and work a front post double crochet around the post of the next post stitch in the row below. You are now going to work one double crochet in each of the next five stitches, beginning with that post stitch of the row below. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. And work a front post skip the next stitch working in front of it work a front post double crochet around the post of the next post stitch in the row below you're now going to work one double crochet into the uh, next stitch We're now going to repeat. Work a front post, skipping the next stitch, work a front post, double crochet around the post of the next post stitch of the row below. Work one double crochet in each of the next five stitches, starting with that post stitch of the row below. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Skipping the next stitch, work a front post stitch around the post of the next front post stitch of the row below, which is set back a little bit. And then double crochet in the next stitch. Repeat all the way across until you have two stitches remaining and then work a double crochet in each of the final two stitches. here at the end double crochet in the next stitch and then into that turning chain three and that brings you to the end of your row four for row five we're going to chain three and turn our work you're then going to begin right off the start here by skipping the next stitch and working a back post double crochet around the post of the next front post stitch of the row below. You're then going to work a double crochet in each of the next seven stitches and this is starting in the same post stitch just working in the top. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're now going to work a back post double crochet stitch, uh, two stitches together working over both of the front post stitches in the row below. 
So to work your back post double crochet two together, yarn over, bring your hook in back of your work, insert your hook around the post of the first front post stitch from back through the front, out through the back again of the row below, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You're then going to reach across, yarn over, insert your hook around the post of the next front post stitch of the row below, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. You're then skipping that stitch in behind the front post two together stitch and working a double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. You're going to repeat this all the way across. I'm just going to show you how to work that front po back post two together once again. So yarn over, bring your hook and back of the work. Insert your hook around the post of the first front post stitch of the row below. Yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook around the post of the next front post stitch of the row below. Yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through all three. Skip that next stitch in behind and work a double crochet in each of the next seven stitches beginning in that uh, front post stitch of the row below but working in the top. When you come all the way across and you have two stitches remaining you're going to finish off by skipping that next stitch, working your back post double crochet around the post stitch of the row below, and then by working a final double crochet in the top of your turning chain three. You can then chain three and turn your work. That brings you to the end of the repeat in this pattern. For now, you're going to simply repeat rows two, three, four, and five for as long as you would like. So your row two began with the double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So repeat rows two, three, four, and five for as long as you would like, and then uh, fasten off and weave in your ends. Just a quick note about row two when you're working uh, the repeat for your row two, you're working your first post stitch just down it's going to look like it's in the top of the wider part of this V around the post of the next stitch and that's where you're working. That's all there is to working this uh, ripple cable stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again don't forget to subscribe. Head on over to richtexturescrochet.com where you will find the uh, free written pattern and uh, I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.